it is nearly the end of some serious water issues at a medical facility. Running water is being restored at St. Elizabeth's in DC. Patients at that psychiatric hospital have not had running water for almost a full month. New tests show the water supply there is no longer contaminated. Delia Gonsoff talked with a daughter who has called for change, and then Delia put some tough questions to a DC leader. It's very disturbing to even talk about this. Sharon Smith has been losing sleep, distressed knowing her 71 year old mother had no running water for nearly a month. She's um, diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder. Just hearing this alone, when you know, like it, she. She's going through it. Anne has been a patient at St. Elizabeth's Psychiatric Hospital for six years. On September 26th, the city shut off the water after tests came back positive for contaminants, including Legionella, a bacteria that causes Legionnaire's disease, a type of pneumonia. There is no Legionella in the water supply. Despite the reports of Legionella in the water Early supply. Early on, there, uh, there was. Dr. Barbara Bazron is the director of the D.C. Department of Behavioral Health. The doctor says the city has spent more than a million dollars in remediation, including replacing faucets. The nearly 300 patients have bottled water, hand sanitizer, and portable showers outdoors. Members of the ACLU suggest that geriatric patients at least should be moved out of the facility because they don't have easy access to the portable showers. We are not... Uh, looking at moving patients. The doctor insists patients are receiving the care they need, but Smith questions that. Like they drop the ball every time when it comes to Southeast. Like we're like last on the list. We are not treating this as though we're a third world country, nor are we treating it any differently than it would be treated in Georgetown or any other community. Delia Gonzalez, WUSA 9. All right, here's a little more on the running water coming back tonight. Word 7, Councilman Vince Gray tells us the toilets work, the faucets are coming back on, the showers are taking a little longer, they'll be done by tomorrow. The facility is working with experts to find out how bacteria got into its system.